back inside the Arena Ice Arena in Arena, Australia. Live action at the Pacific Asia Curling Championships 2017. Team Japan now, so if you're Team Japan now, do you say, okay, all out to steal? Yeah, I think so. I mean, even as as it lies, it's uh, virtually impossible to get to the redstone. So throwing another guard here, you know, China's going to have to start start breaking things open and and regain access to the forfeit. Mari Motohashi at 79% so far in the match. Motohashi having an option Chinese to get at the shot rock. Mm. One of those we saw in end number two. Zheng Yilun, if she needs to draw the button, she can do it. Yeah, she did practice drawing the button in the first end. Seemed to help out. Motohashi just trying to tuck a corner of that stone to try and prevent an ability to run back. And they do just tiny, tiny, tiny little bit behind that front one. This one's got lots of weight. The sweepers are backing off. Here it comes. Would love that to curl maybe another quarter here. So it is a steal of one to Japan. Really close, perfect weight, but Japan steals one. First advantage now to Team Japan. After four ends of play, they're leading it three to one. No, we often say that curling is a game of inches, and we just saw it there in the fourth end. China with the attempt to draw to the button to save their one, but so close, but so far away. And it's a steal of one to Japan, and for the first time in the game, Sander Rolveig, a bit of daylight. Well, nonetheless, this one also slides a little deeper than Team Japan would have liked. They would have liked that in front of the T line. For the players, they're going to play 10 games in the round robin phase in the women's event. So they want to preserve energy where they can. This is the first game for Team China, as we mentioned. Japan has already played one game. They played this morning. They lost to defending Pacific Asia champion Korea. And once again, Stone's starting to accumulate. So end number five is shaping up in a very interesting way. Yeah, so the whole point of playing these freezes is uh, it makes it a hard for your opponent to to remove them. And of course, more stones in play. Just increases the chance of you scoring a, a multiple end. I don't think Japan will mind, though. They, they like putting stones in play. And they, they know how to, so... Yeah, they certainly aren't afraid of a bit of offense and some stones in play. Yeah, just a bit of miscommunication there, I think. They were sweeping that all too much. Needed to curl a bit more with the weight and try and promote the direction. China, they're lying at least two, definitely two. Japan is uh, third shot there to the left of the button area as we're looking at the overhead. And the options for Japan aren't great. You can't promote that stone sideways. You might be able to cut China down to one. Mm. Mm. See the red stones belong to Japan. China's got last rock here in the fifth. Mm. And Japan could make a play on their own stone, but Sander, if it went badly, it could be a shot for three for the Chinese. 
I think this is the only call, though. China's got the hammer. There's contact, spills it. Well, that's about as good as she could do. And Japan now, we think, is lying.